Hello, hi. Welcome to the tutorial of Unix operating system. Here we have two things, Unix and operating system. What is Unix and what is operating system? We will see both of the terms in detail. First of all, we will discuss about operating system. What is an operating system? Operating system is a very common word. It is available in every computer, every laptop, every iPad and every devices what you see. That is related to computing or computer. So what is an operating system is, is a set of programs. It is a set of programs which is written in such a way that it can communicate to the system. You have keyboard, you have mouse, you have camera, you have different things attached to the computer. How these things communicate with the system is what is written in the operating system. So an operating system is basically a software. Now we come to Unix. Unix is a version of operating system. It was developed in 1969 in AT and T Bell Laboratories by Dennis Ritchie. Actually this Unix, this system has something different from Windows. It supports multi-user, that means multi-user can be logged in at the same time in this system and it supports multitasking. We will see many things in detail. This was the introduction. Let's see what all things we will be covering in Unix operating system. So here we have your core structure. First of all, we will be having introduction and basic concepts of Unix. Introduction and basic concepts will deal you how Unix evolved, how Unix is used, what are the different versions, where it is used, all these things will be covered in introduction and basic concepts. Then comes Unix file management. Unix is an operating system in which everything is prepared as a file. Everything is in the form of directory, tree-like directory. So how these are managed in the system is what we will deal in file management. Then we have Unix directories in which we will learn about different types of directories in Unix. Then we will be learning about file permissions, how a file will be given permission for read, write and execute. Then we will be learning about Unix environment, how this environment is going to be configured, how we are going to use this and how we can execute our different commands. Then after that we will be having Unix basic utilities, different commands, what you will be having. Then we have pipes and filters in Unix, how different processes works in Unix. All these are we are going to have in our code structure. Then continuing further, we will be having Unix communication. We will be having Unix VI editor. What is a VI editor? Just basic notion. As we have notepad in uh, our windows we have similar thing as an editor in unix that is called vi editor then we will be continuing on unix cell programming with a different word so we'll be having explanation for what is cell what are variables in the unix as we have in different programming constructs we have variables here also we have a special variables we have arrays here how to use arrays we will see in these in our tutorial we have unix basic operators and all these things we will be learning. Then we will be continuing on Unix cell loops, Unix loop control, Unix cell substitution, how Unix coating mechanism works, how Unix IO input output redirection works. Then we will be uh, seeing different cell functions and how you can manage help in Unix. So basically this uh, gives you a rough picture of what you are going to study and what you will be having in different courses, different uh, sessions of Unix. Then uh, after the con basic things are over, then we will be going to advanced Unix. What is having in advanced Unix is Unix regular expression. These are very important topics. Unix file system basics, Unix user administration. Unix system performance, Unix system logging, Unix signals and traps and then finally we will be having summary and quick view. So what we saw in uh, the introduction is what we have course structure for Unix cell programming and advanced Unix. So introduction and basic concepts. Unix is a computer operating system which can handle multiple users at the time. As I told you, Unix operating system was designed only to attain this feature. What is multiple users at the same time means? That means suppose you have one system of Unix. So there can be different persons who can access its resources. 
you have one resource you have one file different users at the same time can open that file write that file execute that file so these all features come in unix operating system so this is a very important features so many of the servers of the world are using this particular operating system to have proper communication and proper operation it was originally developed by Kim Thompson and Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Bell around in 1969. It has a long history. Okay, Unix development. Uh, how it started is there was one uh, project of uh, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. They have first discovered one language, which was known as B. Then C came. In the process, there was a language discovered called Unix. So this. Uh, language was basically to serve feature for multiple user and multiple tasking it is basically a set of programs that acts as a link between computer and the user as i told you earlier what is an operating system it is a set of programs that act as a link between computer and the user what is an operating system there are some codes written in it you have that code whenever you press a key whenever you on your camera whenever you put on your CPU it all goes to the particular code and communicates with the system and responds its back So these all things are written in the particular software, which is called the operating system The computer programs that allocate the system resources and coordinate all the details of the computers internal is called the operating system or kernel So the same thing what is we are here trying to justify is your operating system is also called the kernel so basically what is the inner part of your software what is you know, written in the software what you call the operating system is also known as the kernel it allocates the system resources it coordinates all the details of the computer internals and process its particular functions so what we have dealt in now is Unix is an operating system. It handles multiple users. It handles multiple tasking. Users communicate with the kernel through a program known as cell. For us, that is the users to communicate with the operating system. To communicate with the system, we have a software. We have a compiler called the cell. Okay. We will be seeing its detail in coming part of the tutorial. The cell is a command line interpreter. It is a command line interpreter. What is an interpreter? It is a translation software. It translates command that you that is entered by the user and converts them into a language that is understood by the kernel. So what is basically I want to switch on the camera. I don't know how the camera is attached to the system and what is code written in the system. So there will be a, there is a particular interface called cell. We will write some code into the cell. This cell will translate the command enter by me to open the camera and convert them into a language that is understood by the operating system. That is the kernel. Kernel, don't confuse the kernel with operating system. They are both the synonyms. There are many variants of Unix like Ubuntu, Solarix Unix, HP Unix. So basically, you can you know, use Ubuntu in your system. It is free. You can download it and run in side by side of windows solarix unix hp unix are other variants of unix linux is also a flavor of unix which is freely available so linux is also a free version of unix you can check its detail and download and use it as i told you unix is multiple user and multitasking supporting this was the basic thing why unix was discovered many users can log into the same time and multiple tasks can be performed at the same time